Hey YouTube, Fired Up Prepper here. Got a new video for you and that video is going to be on, this video is going to be on skills. What prepping skills do you already have that will benefit you in your prepping, your homesteading? Everybody has a set of skills, a certain set of skills. Some people have more than others, kind of like your handymen that can do just dang near anything. So the question is, what skills do you have currently? What can you do to take those skills to the next level if you need to? What skills do you that you don't have that you need to acquire? And here's something that's very important. If you're planning on bugging out to a location, starting a homestead, you must work on obtaining the materials, the, the books, the courses, whatever you think you're going to need to learn those skills because if something happens SHTF everything's closed down you haven't really learned no skills yet you move out to this area you really don't know anybody you can always make new friends you can always meet other preppers but start even if you don't have time to start working on bettering your skills or learning new skills, start getting the information together that you're going to need. The best possible form is going to be books, because if you get it electronically and something happens, EMP, that's going to be gone. So think about that, because I've got lots of information that's electronic that I've got saved in PDFs on my computer and I need to get them printed out and put them in binders so that when I need the information I can access it. So what skills do you already have? Are you a carpenter, plumber, farmer, uh, business person, salesperson, mechanic, uh, whatever it is, uh, you're good with metalworking, whatever it is, candle making, whatever your skill set is. You need to know the skills that you don't have that you're going to have to acquire or find someone to help you with. What skills does your wife have, your spouse, your husband, your sons, your daughters, your neighbors? that are preppers that you can talk with, that you can work with. Community is important. You won't want to friend everybody. You want to friend the right people. You don't want people that are going to be a burden to you. You want people that are going to be an asset to you and your prepper community. So try to find people that have the skills that you don't have, that have the skills that you don't have what's a what's a very very important skill that you think that all preppers need to have in terms of SHTF how about medical skills nursing skills doctoring skills very very important uh, maybe natural cures medicinal, you know, herbal medicinal type things. Study up on all those things. There's plenty of books out there. Uh, what would be another good skill that you would need to have? Gardening is very important because once all the food runs out, you're going to have to be able to become a green thumb. And you're going to have to be able to grow vegetables, fruit. You may have to do some uh, light uh, animal farming like rabbits or chickens it's kind of things that you could probably still do in the city and get away with 
just don't get any loud roosters, but I still, I live in the city and I still hear a rooster every now and then down on the block. So I know somebody around within a half a mile, quarter mile radius has, has a rooster. Uh, think about those. Think about those skills. Plumbing skills. Landscaping skills. Might kind of go with gardening. But anyway, get that figured out. Know what you can do. Know what your spouse can do. Know what your children can do. They're probably more technical than you. Uh, and so on and so forth. So hope that helps. Hope it helps you get ready. Feel more prefer prepared. Feel more secure in your prepping. Stay fired up. Have a great day. See you on the next video.